Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. In a previous video, we took a look at the X-Tone Smart Stomp, a pedal board audio interface solution which blends the worlds of digital and physical amps and effects. While this compact box is great for guitars, it lacks certain functionality which would allow it to transcend stringed instruments. Fortunately, the X-Tone Pro has everything that the smaller X-Tone was missing. An XLR input, full MIDI in and out, and an expanded array of switches for greater control over software and apps. I shan't dwell on the guitar functionality of the X-Tone Pro as it's identical to what we saw with the smaller X-Tone. You can go and check out that video if you want a recap on all of those features. Here, I want to talk about the additional functionality, starting off with the XLR input. With this addition, we can now run a microphone into the Smart Stomp and use app-based software to manipulate vocals and more. We have a dedicated microphone gain to set our input level and a clip indicator to let us know when that signal is too hot. With 48 volts phantom power, this can accept condenser microphones, not just dynamics, making this perfect for both live use and on-the-go recording. I have this Lewitt condenser microphone connected to the Pro. Using apps, I can apply all sorts of effects to my voice. Now, I'm no singer, but I decided to give it a shot anyway to show you what this can do. Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me saying I really don't think you're strong enough, no Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me saying I really don't think you're strong enough, no Now, even flute or other breath instruments could be used in this fashion. To get back to guitars, the XLR is a fantastic way to mic up a classical guitar. This nylon stringed instrument doesn't have a pickup, so using a microphone is the only way that I can capture the sound, amplify the guitar and apply effects. With the X-Tone Pro, I can apply software effects to the nylon stringed instrument and send it both from the XLR to capture the sound and from the line outs to my Laney acoustic amplifier so I can hear it amplified without having to do any invasive modifications to the instrument. <laughs> That's all well and good, but what about that full MIDI functionality? Well, the X-Tone Pro not only works as an audio interface controlling software over MIDI, but it can also command hardware across MIDI too. Now this is the point where I would have loved to have shown you the X-Tone Pro controlling all the settings of my Engel Savage over MIDI, but unfortunately I just couldn't get it to work. I suspect the reason for this is that the X-Tone Pro is using CC MIDI messages, which are fine for controlling parameters and software, but the angle is expecting to see PC MIDI commands, which this doesn't output. The full-size MIDI on here would probably work much better to receive messages from a MIDI keyboard or other instrument input device. Unfortunately, all of my MIDI input devices operate over USB rather than five pinned in, so I can't connect them to this to demonstrate that. But let's not give up on the angle so easily. The GE Labs app from Moore has the ability to sample an entire rig into software, incredibly useful for getting the sounds of my massive angle speaker cab and pedal board on the road without me having to carry any of that equipment. I can sample several of these to get different channels and settings, 
add in additional effects in the app, like noise gates and delays, and suddenly I've got my full rig on just the iPad and the Xtone Pro. We can see that on this patch, I have the amplifier as an Engel lead tone. Now this is sampled directly from my physical Engel Savage amplifier. Similarly, I can switch the channel here and we have the Engel clean channel. And that's the clean channel, again, sampled directly from the physical amplifier. This is all accomplished using the sample option, which allows us to sample drive pedals, preamps, cabinets, or the entire rig, which is exactly what I've done here. Looking at the wiring schematic for this process, we can see exactly why we need something like the X-Tone Pro to achieve this result. We need two inputs and two outputs on the interface to get the proper experience. One of those inputs needs to be an XLR so we can connect the cabinet microphone to the interface, which is exactly what the X-Tone Pro has. In this sampling sequence, the app is sending signal through the X-Tone to the amplifier, providing a sweep through all the frequencies, as well as white noise and other sorts of signals that will analyze exactly how the amplifier and cabinet react to different frequencies and sounds. The microphone on the cabinet then picks up that signal and sends it back into the X-Tone where it can do its final analysis. Performing that sampling process for both the clean channel and the lead channel of my angle, I can get the sound of my rig, both amplifier and speaker cabinet, into software so that I can use it even when I'm nowhere near my amplifier. All of the guitar sounds you're about to hear are no longer coming through the physical angle amplifier and Hof 9 cabinet. Rather, they're coming through the sampled version in the software, being fed through the X-Tone and out to the XLR. We can see that for both of these patches, I've included other pedals into the mix, both before and after the amplifier, as the sampling process really only captures the sound of the amplifier and speakers and not any of the pedals that will be in the loop. For the angle lead tone, for example, I've got the noise gate and wah pedal out before the amplifier and the delay pedal after. Using the MIDI foot switches and the expression pedal input on the X-Tone Pro, I can control these pedals via the MIDI foot switches in these devices. For example, the wah pedal, the position here is the treadle, and if I hold this and assign MIDI learning and push the expression pedal, I can now save that position marker to work with the treadle of the expression pedal. So I can get a wah right here on the physical hardware, operating it through software. Similarly, for the analog delay, I've got that assigned to the D foot switch so I can bring that in and out as I please. I can switch to the clean patch using the B foot switch, which I've assigned to be switching between those channels. I can also bring in the delay in and out using a D foot switch. It's similar between both. Then the chorus pedal, I've got the amount of chorus on the expression pedal. I've assigned that there. That gives us a nice swell in of chorus. And of course, I can bring in and out the compressor on the E foot switch. So that allows the ability to switch between different patches on the foot switches, as well as controlling parameters through the expression pedal, or indeed bringing effects in and out using the foot switches as well. I can demonstrate this. This is the angle clean without any of the effects present. And then I can bring in the delay, the compression, and I can even swell in that chorus. I can do similar on the lead channel here. Let's see that wah pedal in action. And I can also bring that delay in and out.
The multitude of switches provides far more access to presets and commands from this unit. And if you assign a couple of these switches to be bank up and bank down, then you've got hundreds of commands that you can access here. Once again, this features the headphone output and can power over USB via the connected device if you don't want to have a separate nine volt supply powering it, making it perfect once again to be a travel companion, even if it is a little larger and heavier than the smaller X-Tone. So there we have it. The X-Tone Pro is about as fully featured as a pedal board audio interface could possibly be. If you like what the smaller X-Tone could do for guitars, then the X-Tone Pro adds to it, further expanding the functionality. Links, as always, are in the description under this video should you want to find out more, check the price, or even buy one for yourself. But that's all for now. Keep it loud, and stay safe. Do you believe?